Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Thursday, March 28th, 2024, post-market wrap-up. People, the stuff that I'm going to show you right now, if you didn't see this for yourself, you wouldn't believe it. It's really the truth. Uh, this is so absolutely out of control, but it's exactly what you and I would have expected. The propaganda, the distractions, the deceptions, the look here, don't look over there. It really is an astonishing thing to see. We have a global economy, and you know what I'm about to tell you, not just here in the United States, that is contracting at its fastest pace on record. On record. We, Meanwhile, we have global debt skyrocketing at its fastest pace ever. That is not a good setup here. It should be pretty obvious for you. And uh, if, if you even have the slightest disbelief that this is not 100% being done to us all on purpose, well, then, I, I, then again, you don't understand what's happening here. Um, right now, the environment is ripe for a lot of things to happen. With regard to the stock market, we just hit a new record high for the S&P 500 and the Dow. That makes 22 or 23 I'm, I'm actually losing count here. It's either 22 or 23 new record highs for this market this year alone, to say the least. Eric knows what I'm talking about. Thank you. You and I nailed this to the wall at the end of last year, how this would play out, what we would see moving forward. It's, um, yeah, Robert, it's, it's, but it's not, it's actually burning down much faster than we think it is that he, Robert Emrace, the country is slowly burning down to the ground. This is a deliberate. The central banks of the world are working together in concert to destroy the current system, to put forth a new system of extreme control. They're just waiting for the moment when people see at one point, people are going to start to rise up. I believe it's going to be during the presidential selection. This is not going to go the way people believe it's going to most people at, at this point. Um, just, and they are hoping that people are going to take to the streets again, worse than last time. And um, they're going to use that as a mechanism to steal more of our liberties and our freedoms away. They're giving people enough rope to hang themselves. The right versus left agenda here has made some people astonishingly rich. I think you know who I'm talking about here. Uh, he's played this like a master, honestly. Um, <laughs> that's really what he's concerned about. And, uh, you know, for himself and his family, of course. But, you know, you can't blame the guy because he knows what's going on. He knows where this is going to go. Um, he's fully convinced that the last election was stolen, but he doesn't think this one's going to be stolen. <laughs> Plymouth. Oh, cool name. Anyway, yes. Um, anyway, look, let's uh, let's set the stage here. A few things. As I said, New record high here for the for the Dow, the S and P, the Nasdaq finished slightly negative. All right, but we've had one hell of a run, or say a heck of a run with regard to tech, the best performing sector of this market. Let me see your shocked face. Are you ready? Was energy um, this month on the back of crude oil higher, higher, higher? Let's not forget what J P. Don't listen to Greg Manorino anymore. All right. If you want to listen to J.P. Morgan, the Wall Street Superbank, they got to give you little tidbits of truth here. What did they say just yesterday? Energy prices are going to be <laughs> going way higher. People are going to be forced to pay more. Well, for everything. Actually, let's talk about that. So we got a whole bunch of, of economic news today. And um, none of you are going to be surprised about this uh, at all. So the first is this GDP number. You and I have been saying, watch the GDP number. They're going to they're going to portray this as the greatest thing that's happening. And our economy is so strong. Look, government spending is a key component in GDP. We are we are funding wars all over the world. We are fighting our own war right now against so-called Iranian proxies. Uh, did did we not expect to see this GDP number coming in at 3.4? It doesn't even keep up with the actual rate of inflation. So, see, people have no idea what's happening to them. And that's really a big part of the stuff I'm going to show you 
to prove to you that what you already know. Anyway, so uh, so according to their own numbers, we get this GDP number is at 3.4%. Here, strip out funding for wars, strip out government spending, and this number is going to be cut in half. And if you, again, base the GDP number against inflation, people are being slaughtered, slaughtered. Now, another piece of uh, very interesting news, a few things today. Inflation continues to rise. Oh, wow. Imagine my shock. The other thing that's, I mean, this is so disgustingly revolting to me, and it should be to you too. So you got CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, all of them, they're, they're talking about Consumer spending. Consumers are spending more. This is absolute proof that the economy is stronger. Inflation continues to rise. People are being forced, forced to pay more and get less. But this is what they do. This is the propaganda. The United States, the, the laughing stock, unfortunately, of the world at this point here. Okay. Um, People are so dumbed down that they might actually believe, wait a minute, consumers are spending more. So our economy must be really, really strong. Not only are the products, the, the price is rising out of control, but they're shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, shrinkflation, okay? When they try to sell you something like that, I mean, when, when I... When they when this news crossed, you know, the, 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 the mainstream propaganda, oh, consumers are spending, they're spending, so they... I mean, it made me give me an instant headache. That's number one. Number two, it made me want to puke. So it's like, okay, they can't tell you that you have no choice but to spend more and get less, but they're gonna play that against you. They're gonna play you like a pawn in a game because that's all of that this is here. We also found out today that business activity falls yet again. And let me tell you something about business activity and business spending, major leading indicators. There's no end in sight here. No end in sight. Period. I think I think we all understand that. At least I, I hope you do. Now let me show you what I was talking about. I want to physically show this to you. So this is from today. This is Barron's. Look at this headline. Let's have a little fun here, you and me. Okay, let's have a little fun. Barron's U.S. economic growth remains robust, no matter how you slice it. Let's slice it just a little bit. This is from two days ago. Two days ago. Dallas Fed manufacturing business conditions continue to worsen in March. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, I really appreciate that. So we're slicing, okay, because they're telling us no matter how we slice it. Yeah. So there's one. And this is just two days ago. Manufacturing and business conditions continue to worsen. Let's, take, let's have another look. Oh, U.S. factory activity in March was weakest since the Great Recession. That's only two days ago as well. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not forget this. This is uh, this is today. Chicago Business Activity Index weakens further in March. Make this stuff up. You can't do it. It's impossible. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, the GDP update boosts fourth quarter economic growth because, you see, uh, we're not funding wars. Oh, yes, we are all over the entire world. Government spending has gone off the Richter scale. It's got no end in sight. And that's what boosts, supposedly boosting GDP. And even with that, this isn't keeping up with the actual rate of inflation. By a long shot, people are getting destroyed. Let us move on here. What do we have next? This is a shock, right? Oh, here we go. Strong, this is today. Strong U.S. consumer spending prompts upward revision. Uh, people are being forced to spend. You know that. You're being lied to on a monumental scale. Lovely, isn't it? Let's see what else we got hiding behind this one. Consumer sentiment climbs to two and a half year high as U.S. inflationary pressure ease. They're not easing. Inflation continues to rise. Duh. Right, Jeffrey? I'm like, really? You see, I don't make this stuff up. It's in your face. And you see, they're laughing at us. Jeffrey knows what I'm talking about. They're laughing at us. They think that we're too stupid. Again, what are they doing? What you and I said they would do. The look here, don't look over there. Trying to, tr this is a psyop on a scale that is beyond belief. And if you think we're done with regard to all this stuff here, I, I know, again, I'm preaching to the choir. Everyone, all of you here, you're my base, okay? You guys and girls, you got this stuff. It is out of control. But when are people going to get fed up enough to where they're going to actually take to the streets and maybe do something? I think, yet again, it's going to be the presidential selection. I really, really do. Um, look, let me, let, me, let me say this, too, just in case. For those of you that really don't know what's happening at all. Um, 
The dynamics in play right now are dangerous. They are dangerous to an extreme, and I mean across the board. Nobody is telling us the truth. Nobody. Okay, they all know what's happening here. All of the super rich, the billionaires, okay? Um, if you and I are aware keenly of what is happening, don't you think that these, the elites, the one and two percenters, they also know what's going on? Of course they do. And they're already starting to take action, dumping their positions in the market, even though this, I've been telling everybody, you know this, for years, market's going higher. Why would these multi-billionaires, the one and two percenters here, CEOs of corporations, uh, senators, insiders be dumping stock now? Why are they doing this? It's getting, it, it, it's kind of faded off. But this was something that was going on just recently. I explained this to you, what's happening here, okay? Um, people making billions of dollars in this market, too. I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is all a game that is being played. We, the people, are cattle. We're being played like we are, I don't know what, what yet to be defined entities, a means to an end. And it's very unfortunate here. Really, we can't get a bit of truth at all. There used to be a time where the media outlets used to keep the propaganda in check, but now they've all been bought and paid for. Okay. They rely on this and um, they have people exactly where they want them. And this goes back to who's funding this entire thing. Who runs the economy? Tell Greg Manamino again, who runs the economy? Who runs the financial markets? Who runs the financial system? Who dictates how we transact? Who, who is this? It's obviously the central banks of the world, in this case, the Federal Reserve. So if you think that power resides anywhere else, anywhere else, you are so detached from reality that maybe you should smack yourself across the face until you, know, you pass out. And then maybe you'll wake up in, in, in reality. Because it's no this this is an, this is just beyond belief, okay. But that again, this is not about doom and gloom. It's about understanding what's going on, taking in the reality of the situation, okay, and then acting, taking action. What are you going to do here if we understand this is going to continue and get much worse? The propaganda, the deceptions, the lies, the people that are profiting from all of this on a massive scale. Okay, uh, we can do the same thing because we're smarter than they are. We know their plan. We know what they want. They are creating a slave planet here. Okay, in case you're not aware of that, the more people they can enslave here, the the happier they're going to be, and the more people, the more people they're going to get to beg for a new system. That's what they're looking to do. And the, I mean, it's it's an incredible thing to see how this is playing out here. But you and I, again, we know what to do. Bet against the debt. Become our own central banks. I've been telling you this for over 10 years. Commodity exposure here. I believe you need exposure to cryptocurrencies, other things too. Maybe artwork, musical instruments, classic cars. You know, uh, my favorite asset of all time, I'm going to tell you again. It's right here. It's right here. If you had to invest in one thing, this is it. This is it. I don't sell this stuff. Do you know how many times? Let me explain this to you. You see these little characters that are on, on these coins? I've, I've heard from multiple people that produce these things. Hey, Greg, how about we put your picture or bet against the debt, become your own central bank on these things and sell them? I have turned everyone down despite being offered large sums of cash to do this. Why? Because I want you to know that I am real. OK, I, I don't sell this stuff. I don't have my name on it. I don't have my slogans on it, my face on it. Nothing at all, because this, in my view, is the most undervalued asset on the planet other than air and water, you know, and, and stuff like that. Uh, the obvious things I'm talking about real wealth. That's what this is. Secondary here, too. I know there's probably a lot of you who would like to get a, a Greg Manorino coin or whatever it might be, but. Again, I just won't do it. I won't do it. I just don't feel comfortable about it. Um, I, I personally believe you should be going out there and buying the cheapest stuff you can get. You don't need the designer metals out here, okay? 
Uh, that's the truth. It's just, but we need to do this because we know that debts and deficits are going to balloon. Global debt is going to continue. The propaganda, the distraction, the deception, the lies, the war, uh, and everything else you can, they're destroying us, people. They are destroying us. And they're waiting for that moment where the public has just had freaking enough. And again, I think this is going to build up and reach a uh, plateau here at the selection. It's not going to go the way people want it to. And even if it does, it ain't going to change a damn thing, okay? There's just no way. Um, it's the central banks that run it all. All right, look, people, I got a big surprise for you. Tomorrow, this market is closed. So today is kind of like a Friday. So you're not going to see this guy until Sunday. And Sunday for the markets, so look ahead. We'll, we'll cover all this stuff again. But look, I really do want to hear from you on, on all this stuff here that we covered and all, all this paper that I'm wasting. Just so, you know, I, I wanted to show you this because seeing is believing. Seeing really is believing. And, you know, this, 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 this headline disturbed me more than anything else. And this is today. Barron, U.S. economic growth remains robust. Meanwhile, again, two days ago, factory activity, business activity, weakest since the financial financial crisis, uh, inflation pressures ease, they're rising, uh, strong consumer spending, people have no choice but to spend more because inflation continues to GDP, these fake numbers are out of control. Uh, this is again today, business activity index uh, falling deeper into contraction. But again, then you got the lies and the deceptions and it's out of control. The barons should be ashamed of themselves. If any one of you work for barons, I'd be quitting today or I'd be laughing or calling the freaking uh, the publisher, whoever, whoever they freaking the editor and say, you know, sir. Oh, no, no. All right. Look. Um, so as I said, this is like a Friday. All right. So um, bring it in. Bring it in, people. All right. Love each other. Care about each other. Be charitable. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, people. We got each other. And that is key to this entire thing. What I am doing right now, literally right now, I'm changing out of these lovely clothes. I'm jumping into my uh, my racing attire. And I am going drag racing right over here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Um, you know, people ask, hey, Greg, if I calm down, can I can I meet you? Of course. I want you to. I'm telling you. Come on over. Say hello. I love meeting you people. I really, really do. Anyway, all right, so people, so look, please comment. Please share this stuff. We need more thumbs up here, people. We got to do something about that. Again, it's for the algorithms. You want people to hear this stuff? You want people to see this stuff? It's up to you. Thumbs up, the algorithms pick it up. And even the more comments, the algorithms will pick it up. So just say something. All right, look, again, I'll see all of you Sunday, right? That's all. <laughs>